Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,218 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'm thrilled to continue our journey through the book of Proverbs, where we will unearth its timeless wisdom. Today we are delving into Proverbs chapter 11, verses 16 through 23 from the New Living Translation. So fasten on your hiking boots as we uncover the blessings and wisdoms in these verses. Proverbs chapter 11, verses 16 through 23. We continue our exploration of the characteristics and the outcomes of living a life of wisdom. These verses provide valuable insights into the rewards of wisdom and the benefits it brings into our lives. Verse 16. A gracious woman gains respect but ruthless men gain only wealth. This verse highlights the contrast between graciousness and ruthlessness. A gracious woman gains respect, which is a lasting and valuable treasure. In contrast, ruthless men may accumulate wealth, but it often comes at the expense of their respect and integrity. Verse 17. Your kindness will reward you, but your cruelty will destroy you. Here we see the consequences of kindness and cruelty. Kindness brings its own reward, enriching our lives and the lives of others. Conversely, cruelty ultimately leads to self-destruction. It underscores the enduring values of acts of kindness. Verse 18. Evil people get rich for the moment, but the reward of the godly will last. This verse contrasts evil people's fleeting wealth with the godly's lasting reward. While evil may lead to temporary riches, the wealth of the godly endures. It emphasizes the importance of seeking godliness and righteousness. Verse 19. Godly people find life. Evil people find death. This verse encapsulates the fundamental difference between the godly and the evil individual. The godly find life abundant and fulfilling, while the evil finds death, spiritual and moral decay. It highlights the profound impact of our choices on our lives. Verse 20. The Lord detests people with crooked hearts, but he delights with those with integrity. This verse focuses on the condition of the heart. The Lord detests those with crooked hearts who engage in deceit and dishonesty. In contrast, he delights in those with integrity, emphasizing the importance of honesty and moral uprightness. Verse 21. Evil people will surely be punished, but the children of the godly will go free. These verses highlight the consequences of evil deeds. Evil people will face punishment, while the children of the godly will be set free from the destructive cycle of sin. It reinforces the principles of righteousness that leads to freedom. Verse 22. A beautiful woman who lacks discretion is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. This verse uses a vivid analogy to illustrate the value of discretion. A beautiful woman without discretion is like a valuable gold ring placed in a pig's snout. Its beauty is marred, and its worth is lost. It underscores the importance of inner qualities over external appearances. Verse 23. The godly can look forward to a reward, while the wicked can expect only judgment. This verse reaffirms the contrast between the godly and the wicked. The godly can anticipate a reward, both in this life and the next, while the wicked can only expect judgment. It underscores the enduring value of living a righteous life. As we reflect on Proverbs chapter 11, verses 16 through 23, we're reminded that wisdom isn't just theoretical knowledge. It is practical and influences the choices we make in our daily lives. How can you cultivate kindness and graciousness in your interactions with others? In what ways can you seek integrity and godliness in your life? Remember, wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. Let's summarize these key takeaways from Proverbs chapter 11, verses 16 through 23. First, graciousness and respect. Graciousness leads to respect, while ruthlessness often leads to mere wealth. Second, kindness and cruelty. Kindness is its own reward, while cruelty ultimately destroys. Third, fleeting versus lasting reward. Evil may bring temporary wealth, but the godly enjoy lasting rewards. Fourth, Life versus death. The godly find life, while the evil find spiritual and moral death. Fifth, integrity versus crookedness. The Lord delights in integrity, but detests those with crooked hearts. Sixth, consequences of evil. Evil leads to punishment, while the children of the godly find freedom. 
Seventh, inner qualities like discretion hold greater value than external beauty. And eighth, reward versus judgment. The godly can anticipate a reward, while the wicked can only expect judgment. In closing, remember that wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to life of fulfillment. As we continue on our journey through this vast landscape of wisdom, may we cultivate kindness, integrity, and godliness in our lives, choosing the path of the righteous. Thank you for joining me on this leg of our wisdom trek. I hope that these verses inspired you to embrace the blessings of wisdom and to make choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. As we continue on our journey, may we navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.